Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, hello. I uh, was praying and, you know, I was spending my time with the Lord a little bit ago and he put something really strongly on my heart that um, I need to share with people. I know that, you know, a lot of things have been going on in people's lives lately and, and God's been changing things up. I'm telling you, he has been changing a lot of things up, doing some huge, huge things in people's lives. And, you know, mine included. He has done a lot of things in my life the last couple of weeks. It's just amazing. I mean, it's... <laughs> He's shifting things around and moving things around and just doing so many things. It's just awesome. But, you know, of course the enemy comes in after, you know, comes in like a flood when the, when God's doing stuff like that. But the God raises a standard against him, of course, when he comes in like a flood, like his word says. But I wanted to, to share this word because it's a word that God put really strongly on my heart that, that, you know, his people need to know. <laughs> they need to know. I know, I mean, I know there's a lot of prophetic voices out there that, you know, were given words similar to, oops. I'm going to shake this similar to the ones that I'm going to give, but I just felt a real urgency to get this word out. And I, I, you know, when, when God puts something that strongly on me, I know, <laughs> I know it's got to get said. So I wanted to hurry up and do this little video, um, and tell people the things that God has placed on my heart and that, um, he's doing in people's lives, a lot of people's lives, I'm sure. Um, and the enemy is also, of course, he's, he's. He's changing his tactics, you know, he's changing his strategy, he's changing the, the ways that he comes at people, he's changing it around, he's changing it up, because he knows that, at least he thinks he knows, that people, or he thinks he's going to catch them off guard more or less, he wants to catch them off guard, he wants to get them off, you know, get them when their guard is down, you know, we can't do that, we can't ever put our guard down, especially in the days that we're in now, we can't ever put our guard down, we have to keep our guard up, we have to be on alert, we have to be focused on God and focused on the things that he's put before us to do and you know we have to we have to keep our focus on the Lord and we can't allow anybody or anything to distract us and take that you know away from us and and you know pull us away from God we can't allow that and that's what the enemy's doing you know to a lot of people you know especially the leaders now that's who he's going after the most is the leaders the ones that have the the that God has put in leadership, you know, that's why the church, like I've said a lot of times before, is, is in the mess that it's in now, because the enemy is going after the leadership, you know, he wants to drag the leadership down, he's going to the head honchos, you know, he's going to the head people, the, the people that God has put up there to, to be a strong, um, prophetic voice for his glory and for his kingdom and, and to do his work, and he's going after them, he's, he's going after them full force too, and he's dragging a lot of them down, sadly, a lot of them are falling and they have been falling and they're going to keep on, <laughs> sadly, keep on doing it because, you know, the enemy's putting the pressure on, but we can't cave into it. We can't, you know, cave into the, to the pressures that he puts on us, no matter what it is. You know, God's our source. He's our source for anything and everything. It doesn't matter what the circumstances look like. And I know it's hard sometimes not to look at your circumstances, especially when they're in your face, you know, so much. I, I know I, I face that and still face that. <laughs> I think we all do. You know, we all face that at times where sometimes our circumstances try to speak louder than what God's saying. And we can't allow that to happen. We can't allow anything to speak to us louder than God's word does. You know, his word has to be the final authority. It has to be I mean, no matter what, you know, and, and one of the main things that the enemy is doing now besides, you know, going after the leadership, of course, of the churches and, and, and things and the prophetic voices, he's going after them. And he's, you know, he, like I said, he, he's doing it full force and the things that he's, the people that he's using, you know, just like God works through people, the enemy works through people. And he is working through those that are the closest to you, even family members. I mean, not just, I mean, anybody that you are close to that you can find in that you, you know, that you feel comfortable, you know, sharing things with that God has done in your life. He is working through those people. He is working through them. He is trying to, to, you know, use them for his evil deeds to pull you away from God, to pull you away from the things that God has for you. And that's why it's so important that we learn you know, to, to have that discernment. We have to pray that God gives us a stronger and sharper and more keen discernment, like I've said so many times before. But these are the days that we need it in the most. I'm telling you, we need it the most now because the way the enemy is coming at people with these new strategies and these new tactics and these new ways that he's coming at people, <laughs> he's coming full force, I'm telling you. But, you know, there's nothing, of course, that God can't and won't get us through. He will. He will get us through it, but we have to stick to him. We have to cling to him 
and we have to to listen to what he says you know the first time don't you know make god repeat us so i know sometimes a lot of people i've done that myself <laughs> i mean we're all guilty of it i'm sure is that when god puts something on your heart you know and, and tells you something or shows you something about somebody or shows you you know opens up your eyes to something and and, and you know reveals the truth to you about somebody or something you know, sometimes we're in disbelief. We're like, no, it can't be. You know, we, we, make, we use all these excuses and these reasonings and we try to reason our way out of it. We try to, to make up things that, you know, that would just, I, I guess, make sense in the natural, if that makes sense. <laughs> kind of, you know, to our natural mind, we kind of nation, naturalize it, if I could say that right. We try to make it naturalized, you know, naturalized. We have to try to naturalize it and make it makes sense to our natural mind which it's not going to because god you know he, he does things of the of the spirit realm he's the spirit so we have to we have to set our minds and our hearts on the things of the spirit not the things of the natural we can't you know even though we live in a natural world we have to be spiritually minded you know we have to keep our minds and our hearts in, in the spirit realm and on on the things of god and on the things that he's shown us and the things that he's revealing to us because it's important in these times that we're living in now because so many people are falling away, you know, it's a scary thing, you know, it's, it, well, I shouldn't say scary, it's just a sad thing, it's really sad, if anything, it's really sad, it's really, really sad to see even the elect, you know, be deceived and, and fall away from God, but a lot of them are, a lot of the elect are falling away, because, you know, they're just not, they're, they're caving into the pressures, and they're caving into the, to the enemy just puts the pressures on so much, and so hard, and so, you know, strongly that they feel, I guess, that they can't, I don't know, I guess they feel like they can't, you know, go on and can't do what God tells them to do, but it doesn't matter what the enemy does. And see, that's when people get into the, doing their own strength. You know, that's when your strength comes in instead of God's strength. That's when people start doing things in their own strength. It's when they try to, you know, do it so hard in their own natural strength and they just you know, they end up failing but we can't do it in our strength and we know that we have to lean on god we have to do it in his strength we have to say lord this is in your strength i can't do this myself none of us can i mean we need god we need his strength we need him to you know to help us through these things especially in the times we're in now we have to cling to him like glue i mean really literally <laughs> cling to god like glue because I'm telling you, the enemy, is he, he's changed up his strategies, and God's put this so strong on my heart to share, and I wanted to get this word out because I was, you know, in prayer and spending some time with the Lord, you know, just talking to him about things and stuff like I do, and he just really put this strongly on my heart, and, and I'm like, God, the people got to know, you know, they got to they gotta see this coming because sometimes it'll blindside you. It will blindside so many people, and that's what the enemy's counting on. He's counting on blindsiding people where they won't see it, you know. He wants to blindside you where you're not expecting it, and that's when people let their guard down, you know. It's when, he, when he knows your guard is down, he's going to come at you like full force. <laughs> He will come at you. You just cannot let your guard down. You cannot give up. You cannot give in no matter how hard, you know, things are difficult. Thing, the way things may seem, and believe me, they, they, they seem that way in the natural. But, you know, like I said, we're dependent on God. We're not dependent on ourselves. We're dependent on him. We're doing it in his strength. We're doing the, you know, the things that God has called us to do. And we're the body of Christ. And this is a time when the body of Christ has to unite. We have to unite. We have to come together. We have to be strong. We have to walk and stand hand in hand. We have to lift each other up. We have to be there for each other. You know, we have to we have to do that in this time. And that's when the enemy is trying to cause so much division and strife and anger and wrath and strife and just so many things that he's trying to cause. He's trying to tear the body of Christ apart so that we can't be united. But, you know, we can't allow him to do that. And that's one of the main strategies that he, he uses also. Then, you know, one of the new tactics and strategies he's coming at people with. And we can't allow him to do that. We have to stand strong and firm on God no matter what. We just cannot look at the, the circumstances. Like I said, they scream at you sometimes. It's hard. It, it, I mean, it's, it's difficult sometimes to, you know, to really stay focused on God and to really, you know, look at his ways instead of, you know, the things in the natural, especially when your circumstances are, you know, like smacking you in the head and like looking at you right in your face. And it's like, but look at this and look at that. And God's like, no, look at me. You know, look at him. That's what he's saying. Look at me. Don't look at your circumstances. Don't look at the situations. Look at me. He's saying, focus on me. Look at me. You know, keep your eyes on me, you know, and, and allow me to get you through this. Allow me to do what only I can do in your life. Allow me to do it. 
And, you know, that's what he's saying to his people and to his, and to his church. He's saying, let me do this. You know, this is too much for you to do on your own. You cannot do it in your own strength. It's too much. You know, we need him. We need his strength. And thank God that we have that. I'm so I'm grateful and thankful that we have him to lean on and to rely on because our reliance has to totally be on him. And he will touch your circumstances. He's doing that with a lot of people too. I know he's doing it with a lot of people. He's touching their circumstances and God will do that. He will touch your circumstances. He will do whatever he's got to do to get your attention on him. <laughs> if he has to touch your circumstances to do it, he will do it. He's done that to me plenty of times. <laughs> through the years and through my walk with him a lot of times he has done that and it's like whoa it was like okay lord i see i see you know it's like we have to come back you know and kind of get ourselves refocused and regrouped and kind of keep our focus on god and, and get more you know in tune to hearing his voice and to knowing his voice like his word says that his sheep are you know we know his voice and the voice of a stranger we won't hear and we won't follow but we'll only hear and follow after his voice and there's so many things, so many different voices trying to speak to us, but we got to block those out. You know, we got to block out the voice of the enemy and block out our own voices sometimes, you know, because sometimes we hear our own voices thinking, oh, that's God. <laughs> and you mistake it for him sometimes. And, and it's it's a difficult thing because sometimes, you know, it happens. We, we we think that we hear God's voice and really it's our voice, but we have to learn to, to, to discern the difference, you know, to know the difference between what God is telling us and what we're saying to ourselves and what the enemy is saying. Because, you know, like I said, there's so many voices talking to people that it just brings confusion and and that's what the enemy is counting on, you know. He wants people to be confused. He wants them to be not sure of anything. He wants them to just, you know, be so confused and mixed up and, and crazy they don't know nothing of what's going on. So he can just overtake them and overpower them and just have his way. But we can't allow him to do that. We have to stay focused on God and on the things he's placed on our heart. But I just wanted to share this word with everybody because um, God's really put it strongly on me and on my heart to, to share this early morning. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. But hey, God, you know, he when he speaks, we got to listen. You know, we got to learn to hear his voice. We got to stay tuned to him. And no matter what, you know, like I said, don't allow those people, even the people that are closest to you. You know, don't allow nobody to pull you away from God. Don't don't. It, it ain't worth it. <laughs> it really it's not. I mean, when, when the rubber meets the road and push comes to shove, you know, God will remove people from your life. And he's doing that with a lot of people. He will remove people, certain people from your life that he knows that are not going in the same direction you're going in, that are, that are trying to pull you away from where he's taking you. He wants you to be on that straight path, you know, to, to the way that he's put you. He don't want you going to the right or to the left. He wants you on that straight path, <laughs> going the way that he's put before you. And, you know, to wipe out all that confusion and all that, that, you know, wipe out all those other voices that are speaking to you. But God really put this strongly in my heart. So I do want to share it real quick with everybody. And I pray that it's a blessing to you. And I pray that, that it helps you and, 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 you know, opens your eyes to a lot of things that, that, you know, God is saying. And just helps you to be more in tune to his voice and to know the strategies of the enemy and not to fall for his tricks and his, his little schemes. You know, his evil schemes and his little tricks. <laughs> Don't allow him to, to pull a wool over your eyes, you know. Stay strong in the Lord and stay close to him. And allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you into all, all his truth. And he will do that because that's what he does. He's our helper. He's our comforter. And he's always there for us. So I just wanted to share this word with you real quick. And I pray that everybody has a blessed day. Hallelujah. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.